Hi everybody, this is D, and I wanted to go over a shrink wrap tutorial as promised. Now this is for NBA 2K17 and it's a way that you can easily change the body types to your liking um, and it doesn't take a long time at all. Uh, the biggest struggle I think with people is how to um, import and export the model um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing that we need to do is, and I'll go over what I've already done, is you should create a folder for the player. So for me, I'm going to shrink wrap Reggie Lewis who has the skinny body type and I'm going to give him a slightly bigger body because that skinny body type is absolutely horrible. So what I did was I extracted his PNG um, from NBA 2K17 Explorer. Now these are the two um, tools that you, the three things that you'll need for this. One, you're going to need NBA 2K17 Explorer to extract the player that you want to shrink wrap. Then you'll also need um, and also the bot, the, the player that you want to have the body for Lewis. So basically you'll need two PNG files to do this. You'll also need the importer exporter, which is NBA 2K17 bl Blender importer exporter. And you'll obviously need Blender. Now, the, version 2.79 works for me. If you have version 2.70 or 2.72 or 2.75, the, um, the importer exporter tool does work still. So um, just keep that in mind. So let me show you how to do this. So first thing you want to do is you have Reggie Lewis here. You want to use 7-zip and open the archive and you want to pull out the high head file. You're going to want to open the high head file with notepad and you're going to scroll to the bottom and you want to take out this file, AD, whatever is named here, so AD2B model. So that's going to be this one right here and you want to put that in the folder. Now the reason I have an edited folder here is for this is my backup, my main Reggie Lewis folder, and then when you go into edited, this is going to be the PNG that, I, um, that I'm going to be putting in my modded folder. So that's the way I usually have it set up. The other thing that you're going to need is the body base. Now I already have a Larry Nance base that I converted before, so I'm going to show you off of that one. And let me see... So you'll see in here, let me see, put it, so here's Larry Nance. So if you look in here, this edited fixed body, I did a few edits with this one. So basically you're going to want to do the same thing with the body that you're taking from. So for Larry Nance, his PNG is 1102. What I did with Larry Nance was I took out his um, high head I checked and the, the file that was listed was FD15 at the bottom of the thing so that was the one that I edited so this is a edited Larry Nance body type that I'm going to be working off of the biggest thing with Blender is to when you're doing this is you have to load Larry Nance first and the player that you're editing second and I think that's also a common mistake that people made because make because when you do this you want to make sure if you load your player first and then Larry Nance um, when you export it will export Larry Nance instead of Reggie Lewis so let's load Larry Nance first so you're gonna go down to here and hit import been doing this a lot so I have a lot of files in here so we're gonna go to Larry Nance and we're gonna go to that folder that I showed you and you're gonna load hi head so here's my Larry Nance body type shift mouse roller up to get here so there's Nance then what you're going to want to do is load Reggie Lewis. So we're going to go back here um, and where 
where is Reggie Lewis? Lewis. Okay. So then we're going to open up the high head for Lewis. And there he is. So what I do is I hide Nance here. And so you're just going to see Reggie Lewis. I go to the wrench here, add modifier, shrink wrap. And I do everything. I do the arm, shoulders, player, hit apply. Then I go shrink wrap, hidden shader, excuse me, I apologize, base body shape, player. As you notice, he's turning into the Larry Nance body type. Shrink wrap. Shrink wrap. Um, and then you're going to do hidden shader model, which is his abdomen area. You're going to hit apply. And then the last one is his legs, so leg shader. All right, so now he has the body of Larry Nance, of, with the exception of his head. So this is a really, really quick edit. If you go into um, Sculpt, and sometimes you have to go back in if, if there is any bleeding through the jersey. Um, there isn't on his body, I will tell you that. Other than it, his body is something that I've already edited, so there is no bleeding. So let me show you. So if you go here, actually what you want to do first is flatten and then choose, I usually choose 45 here, it makes sense. And this will get rid of most of these lines. As you notice, it's, it's free of those lines on his chest and you can't see them if they're under the jersey. If you watch, see flatten will get rid of that the most part. Now remember, this is a quick bang up job of it. I just wanted to show you real quick because it's been, there's been a lot of requests. And the other thing that you can do in order to hide these lines is use the grab tool and just move them in. So you can do like this here because what it is is at that point it's hidden under the jersey and you won't even ever see it. So if you want to just do a quick get getting rid of them and, and I've done this many times and you can't see the lines it's just under the jersey you can't even see it from like a side view or anything like that so there's that so that's the first thing that I do is I usually get rid of the lines to the best of my ability and then what I do is I raise his traps because his jersey will be floating at that point so I'm going to do oops So we're going to raise these and raise a little bit here. Again, this is kind of a rush job, but I want to show you how quick and easy it actually is to, uh, to do this. All right. So we're going to stick with that for now. Another thing I'm going to do really quick, and this is going to be super quick, I'm going to make his shoulder slightly bigger. Okay, so that's going to be Reggie Lewis. And the other thing, too, I want to do real quick is just raise his, his chest up. All right. So anyway, that's going to be Reggie Lewis for now. And what we're going to do is now this is the part that people have had questions over. It's how to export. So what you're going to do is you're going to export him right into that edited folder that you made for him. So see on my Reggie Lewis folder, you're going to export him right into the edited folder. Oh, whoops. One one mistake I just made, and just to let you know, and it, this will not, that file that I just put in there will not work. So this is a learning lesson here. Let me show you. So let's get rid of that actually out of there. That was stupid. The, one of the biggest things is you have to delete Nance out of here. So you hit delete. And then under Lewis, you have to make sure it just says player. Otherwise, the file won't work. So see how that says player? Now you're going to want to export to the same location. That's a big one because if you leave it as player 001, it won't work. Okay, so that export worked, 
And now what you're going to have in the edited folder is this file along with your PNG. So the next step is to open up this archive and take out high head through high head five. And this is the way to make it so it just doesn't look the, the right way in the view player screen, but they have the right body when you're viewing them like in broadcast view or 2K view when they're on the court. So you have to take this high head file and open it up. And you're going to select all, copy, and then you're going to paste that in each one of these high heads. So here, select all, paste, file, save. And you're going to do this with each one of them. Again, this is so they look right on the broadcast view. or whatever view you use. All right, so now that we've done that, we know that all of these files are okay to put back in, into the PNG. Now the biggest part, if you don't want him to, he needs to be able to fit his jersey. So you need to find out what Reggie Lewis's skin color is based on his appearance info da data. So you want to drag your appearance info to your edited folder and you want to view it. And it says he's skin color four. Now I have backed up appearance datas for um, each skin color. And that is right under here. So he's a skin color four. Nick Anderson is also a skin color four. That's the jersey that we need to have fit. There's only like, if you want, you're going to be starting with that average body type, whether you're um, shrink wrapping to get rid of the skinny body type, or if you want to just make an edit to a body type or you're creating a player, you're going to probably start with the average um, body type. So that's what these players are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have his appearance info here. And that is also going to go into my PNG. So let's go here. Oops. I'm going to go back to Reggie Lewis. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna remove Lewis. I'm gonna get that over here. And here. So then PNG 2892 needs to take in all of these files. It's gonna ask you if you wanna overwrite. You're gonna say yes. And then you're going to hit copy. And you're gonna put this in your modded folder. Okay, so now we can go into the game, see how he looks. So let's go into NBA 2K17. And I have it in windowed mode so it can record, so it's going to be a little bit, it's going to be slightly slower. So you can see how easy that is once you have a, you know, a process down and you know how to import, export, how easy it is to change one of the skinny body types, which I think really plagued 2K17 that looked horrible. No human looks like that. The only two people that I've considered leaving that way is Bobby Jones for the 82, 83, 76ers and um, Tayshaun Prince. But even they, if you look at pictures of them, they have a little bit of muscle and they absolutely have traps. It's not just a straight line from shoulder to shoulder. So let's see here. I'm going to let this load up. And we'll go in and we'll take a look at the Lewis that we just made and we will see how it came out. Again, it's going to look like this. It's going to work like this because I'm in windowed mode and a bunch of other things in the background. So let's see. 
So he's on the all-time Celtics. This is my all-time team's roster. And we'll look at Lewis. And there you go. So he no longer has the skinny body type. Um, I gave his shoulders a little bit more width. Lewis was kind of a skinny guy, as it is. So you don't need to make him too bulky. And got rid of the lines for the most part. That was kind of a rush job. You might have to like flatten them or push them in a little bit more. But that is how you do it. Now, it looks like there's a slight skin mismatch, and I think that's the way Reggie Lewis is anyway because I matched up the skin color perfectly to his file. So don't be discouraged with that. If you want to go with a darker skin to match the face because they did some mismatching, you can. Like, for example, Donald Royal is a one. Um, you could always use Donald Royal's um, appearance data to make um, it correct for Lewis. But if you want to see a couple quick like edits that you know I did, for example, I made this disregard the portrait because this is a test roster. For my Nate Thurmond that I made, I gave him a much bigger body, and I used David Robinson's appearance data um, to work with that body and he looks great and he's filling out his jersey and there's no bleeding um but that kind of gives you an idea of how easy it is and what you can do um as far as neek i gave him a more athletic body um based on a wiggins body i think it was rkj i'm not sure but um somebody made a wiggins body and what I did was I modified it slightly and shrink wrapped it over Neek's skinny body, and he looks fantastic. A slight jersey floating, but you can't really notice it, um, and that's easy to fix by just adjusting his traps. But anyway, that is your shrink wrap tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know either on this video, on YouTube, or on the NLSC, and have a good day.